What's the word, y'all? Welcome back to Hot Cards presented by eBay. Today, we're going to be building our ultimate starting lineup of trading cards. We got $1,000, y'all. So obviously, we're going over to eBay, the one-stop shop for trading card collectors. Let's see what we can find. So there's a couple different strategies we can do um, on here. We can try to do an investment, you know, we try to get some of the younger players, but that's not what we're doing in today's episode. I'm going to get some of my favorite players of all time. So they even have a little thing here where you can go and get a specific Hall of Famer. Let's start off there. Let's see what Hall of Famers eBay has in this, this little place here. A lot of Kobe. The thousand dollar budget don't allow us to get a Kobe rookie card. Not the official Kobe rookie card, but we can get something here. Which one do we want? Okay, I think the one that we want to start off with is Kobe Bryant. This one's a 1999 SPX Master M9 Kobe graded 8 out of 10. Now, in my lineup, I want all graded cards because that's where the value is at. And in this one, I mean, it looked like he hitting the crazy layup. So we'll, we'll take this one for just $85. We got a lot of money left in our budget. So the next player that I think I want on my team is my favorite player of all time. I'm searching up some Chris Paul cards, man. Now, Chris Paul's mark is not gonna be the same as Kobe Bryant, so we might be able to get some rookies. We'll see what we can find. Uh -huh. Okay, so I found a 2005 Topps rookie card of Chris Paul. This is one that I have multi, I have a lot of these in my, uh, my personal collection. And they're selling them for 275 which is a lot cheaper than when I bought a lot of mine. <laughs> so I'm kind of jealous that this is here now and not a couple months ago when I invested in Chris Paul, but he's going to be our point guard. So 275 on Chris Paul, and we got less than $100 on Kobe, which is a steal. The next player I'm thinking about is Dwayne Wade, man. Like I said, my favorite players of all time. And his card is not as expensive as I thought it was either. Tops 2003, he's holding the basketball because you know that's his love. For $225 PSA 9. But we got some competitors. $199 on this one, another $199, $175. I think we should go ahead and buy the $175 Dwayne Wade, put him at the shooting guard, CP at the point guard, and I guess Kobe got to run small forward because, uh, I, mean, I mean, Dwayne Wade is like, what, 6'3", 6'4"? So that's three out of our five. So now we gotta go get our big men. Um, one of my favorite of the era when I was growing up was the one and only Dirk. So let's see what they got from Dirk. Um, I, I would like to keep it a rookie card. And as a rookie card, they have his Topps rookie PSA 9 mint condition for 250, which seems like a steal considering this man's in the Hall of Fame and one of the greatest to ever do it. So you know what? We're gonna get the young Dirk before the flow onto the team. So lastly, we need a center. And the most dominant center I've ever got to see was, of course, Shaq. So let's see if we can find a good rookie Shaq card that's in our budget. And the first thing I see looks too good to be true, but of course it's on eBay, so it is true. Um, 1992 top Shaquille O'Neal rookie card, PSA 9, mint condition, and that is just $1,1999. I mean, it does not get better than that. At the point guard, Chris Paul. Then we have Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant, Dirk, and Shaq. The icons of my era. And we got it all under $1,000 on eBay. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Hot Cards. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're looking to get into the card game, make sure you check the link in the description to head over to eBay, the top destination for buying and selling trading cards.